Said you needed a break and left with no heads up. I was strong for your sake. Like a lot of people call me ugly. And to me, it's like, so who cares? Like that's supposed to hurt me? Like really? Boo boo. But I know my purpose. Because my purpose makes me beautiful. Confidence makes you beautiful. Inspiring others makes you beautiful, which I do. Being a leader makes you beautiful. Now being a follower, now that. A few times people will look at me and say, God bless you. It's a compliment. I'll say thank you, but I didn't know exactly what they mean by that. Hi, everybody. My name is Kenny. People call me Ken. I am a burn survivor from Sacramento, California. I'll say my occupation is being a social media influencer, a, a motivator, and an inspiration as well. I would define myself as somebody with high self-esteem, self-confidence as well. My accident occurred when I was three years old. I got burned in an apartment fire. And how it happened was I was just playing with my toys and watching TV while my grandfather was asleep on the living room couch. And then all of a sudden I hear this commotion coming from the back of me. So that's where I saw the flames bust out of nowhere. After that happened, all I can do is just panic. So I tried to unlock the door, but I couldn't. Thank goodness I had my grandfather there, but he was still dying from the smoke inhalation. So he woke up out of his sleep. And the only solution that he had was to pick me up under my arms, but carry me over the window. But unfortunately, I got blazed up by the fire. So, like, I'm still here. What makes me thrive and happy in life is just simply gratitude. Don't always have self-pity. I would tell my younger self to don't always feel sorry for yourself. When you have a pity party, it kind of makes you think you're not going to get through something. And also, I just try to look at the silver lining in certain things all the time. Rather, it's negative, bad, or whatever. So, a few times, people will look at me and say, God bless you. It's a compliment. I'll say thank you, but I didn't know exactly what they mean by that. Somebody asked me, yo, what is, like, the number one thing that you wish you could change about yourself? And I, I kind of hesitated to answer. I just didn't want to say it. So I said it anyway. I said, well, in case people don't know, I wish that I could change how I look at times. The reason why people call you an inspiration is because you are the perfect walking example that true attraction exists on the inside instead of the outside. If you have confidence, that's attractive. If you're kind, that's attractive. That's how I would define beauty striving to be the best version of yourself as well. Who can flip that mirror for you? Wow. What do you think? I like it. You like it? Yes. I really do. I kind of see myself in a costume, really. We all walk around with masquerades on our faces. But at the end of the day, that's not who we are. Whatever a person has dealt with in the past and what they're dealing with now is what carves our personality and our mentality. Just don't compare yourself to others all the time. And striving to be the best version of yourself.